Hi everybody, this is Tool Do Tony. Um, uh, back here is a chimney that's uh, just in pretty bad shape. It's been deteriorating over the last 40 or 50 years. The, uh, the top two rows of bricks were loose. It had a cap on it which was just kind of smeared cement. Uh, it was just really in bad shape. So now it's time to actually do it up and do it up right. Uh, so I went ahead and tore off the top three rows of the, of the bricks all the way around and then put them back in place. Now I'm not showing you the video on that because there's lots of videos with people that are actually professional bricklayers that, that know how to do this stuff and do it right. And uh, you know, I, I'm not a bricklayer, but I just did this just to do it and I'm too cheap to, to pay somebody else and why not do it? Hell, it's on the top of a roof. Who's gonna see it? It's 20 feet off the ground. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm on the roof right now. Se second floor. This is a, it's okay, it's fine. I'm up here all the time. Uh, so at any rate, um, I did this yesterday, got the bricks off and back on again, cleaned it all up. It's not as pretty as it ought to be, but it's good enough for now. I'll do some cleanup on it later. But for today, I'm going to show you how to frame up uh, the, a deal to put a cap on it right in place. So uh, I've never done this before. Uh, I've done worked with concrete and you know bags of cement and that kind of stuff, but I've not actually done this. So this is this will be a first for both of us. Cross your fingers. Let's hope this thing turns out. At any rate, we'll have some fun with it, and uh, it's going to be what it's going to be. So, uh, game on. So, I'm doing it today because I'm getting a new roof on Tuesday. I want to have all that messy concrete stuff done because I'm not going to be very clean about it. Okay, so now to do this cap on top of this thing, I'm going to just build a uh, form on the ground uh, that's the dimensions that I want for that cap. I've already measured this thing, have it figured out. I'm going to start by splitting some 2x4s right down the middle and then we'll build a form. I'm going to make it the cap as thick as the 2x4s are tall here, which is about an inch and a half. So uh, I'm just going to screw it together. Rinse and repeat. All right, so let's put this thing up here. Well, that's pretty good. So, uh, somebody's texting me. Uh, all right, well, I'm going to go have some lunch and then go start mixing up some concrete and get this thing going. All right, here are the supplies I got for this project. I got five bags of this high strength uh, concrete mix. This is the quick rate. That's what they had available. So, hey, that's what I got. That should work. Uh, I got a gallon of this uh, concrete bonding adhesive and acrylic fortifier. And then because this house was built in the 70s, uh, the mortar was weird colors. It's like half pink, half black, sort of a strange darker gray color. I don't know. So we're going to use that, at least for the outside edges. Not into the initial loads, but in, on the outside edges. Okay, so then I got some uh, buckets and uh, yeah, no, I don't really care what uh, box store I shop at. I go to different ones for different things and uh, yeah, I get buckets from everywhere. Okay, so uh, that concrete, uh, you don't want to breathe that stuff in. So whenever I do, when it's, ever it's dry and I'm trying to mix this stuff up, I always wear a mask. Really good one. Fits tightly so that I don't want to breathe that stuff. Alright, so uh, I got to carry this stuff onto the roof. So I'm just going to mix it up one bag at a time. Because there's no easy open. Okay, got to cut it. This is just regular concrete mix with lots of gravel in it. This is a 50 pound bag. See how the dust coming up? You don't want to breathe that. This is going to be the first bag of the concrete that I'm doing. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of this uh, bonding stuff in it so it'll stick to the stuff well. I'll add some water until I get it to a consistency that I like. Start there. And I'm going to transfer it to a bucket with a little shovel. Yeah, shit. Heavy. <laughs> now for the fun part. Got to get this shit on the roof. Okay. <sighs> All right. Yep, that's heavy. Now 
Okay, so this is the uh, first uh, layer of concrete that I'm gonna put in here, the first bag. I need to fill in all of these areas to make it kind of flat, and then we'll work on the cap part. Okay, so now I'm on the second bucket of concrete. Sun came out, too bad, now it's getting hot, but that's okay. Made the second bag of concrete a little runnier than the first. Hoping to fill in a little bit better, let it just kind of fill in now. And then the last three bags, we'll use that to make the actual cap. See, I kind of got it filled in now. To do that back here. Okay, so two bags of just the gray without the color in it was just enough to uh, basically fill in all of that stuff, make a nice uh, base cap for it, the foundation for the actual colored part. So now we're gonna put the frame on it and then uh, get, get, get some bags with the color going here. So back over here on the right, there's actually a bigger gap than I had hoped for. So I'm gonna try some duct tape <laughs> to put on there seal this thing up from the outside. Hopefully that'll do it. It might help hold it in place too. See what I mean? Too much of a gap here. Yeah, I know you brick masons, the real the real guys out there are probably going, yeah, this guy doesn't know what the fuck he's doing and, he, and you're right. So uh, I'm gonna try some duct tape anyway. When in doubt, use duct tape. Nice, I think that'll work. <laughs> okay, so I decided, why use a little duct tape when you can use a lot? I have a big roll, it's been sitting here for a long time, so I put more around this end, I put some around on the other end, put some in the front. Hopefully that'll help hold the form in place too while I was doing it. Hey, if it's, if it's not uh, duct tape, man, it's not a redneck project. So uh, this is now an official redneck project. Got that plasticizer. Shake this stuff up good. This is the color, a little red. But I'm gonna try and push this as close as I can to the edge up there. So uh, I'm gonna make sure I got plenty of color in this one. Okay, so I'm winded. That was my third load of this stuff coming up the ladder. It gets heavy, man. Jeez. Duct tape. There's the obligatory, uh, there goes the obligatory car alarm. Thank you very much for getting that shut off. Well, that's kind of what I'm doing here. I'm just gonna keep working it until it's nice and smooth. Catch you in a bit. Well, that fifth the bag was all I needed. Um, I went ahead and put it on. You guys really didn't just see it. It was the same stuff I was doing before. So uh, I'm calling that part done for now. I'll come back later. We'll take the frame off, do some final cleanup, and uh, see what it looks like. So uh, till later. Okay, it's been about, I don't know, an hour or so. Let's uh, take the forms off and uh, see how bad or good this thing turned out. Look out below. Oh, I hope that nobody got hurt down there. This side looks pretty good. 
in here does not look so good. Hey, my recommendation is don't do this yourself. <laughs> but hope it was fun. Well, that could have been better, but uh, whatever, at least it's done. Uh, I still have to caulk it and do some other stuff. Hey, I'll do that later. At least it's good enough now that I can get the roofers over here on Tuesday and get this uh, roof repaired without having to worry about dicking it up with uh, concrete stuff. So, eh, is it better than it was? Hell yes. Is it structural again? Yes, it is. Is it pretty? Eh, maybe not so much. <laughs> but hey, that's how it goes, right? You never know. Uh, well, it was a fun project. It was definitely a lot of work. I'm going to feel it tomorrow in my back and in my shoulders. That much is for sure. But hey, that's how it goes, right? Well, hey, this is Tool Dude Tony. Thank you for watching. See you later. Sayonara, sweetie. Big head, big head, big head. Whoa, big head, whoa. He's, whew, carrying shit up that ladder is a pain in the ass. I think I'll probably cut that part out.